You've touched me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're taking a look at page 278. We're talking about factoring. And here I've got number 7, negative 15x squared minus 5x. Now, in this problem, the first technique you always try is GCF. You try to yoink a yoink what you can. So between 15 and 5, what could I steal from those? Negative 5. 5. And better yet, because the leading term is negative, I'll take that minus sign with me. I'll take that minus sign. Between x squared and x, how many x's could I steal? x of them. So I'll have negative 5x, parentheses, and let's see, negative 5 times what is negative 15? 3. 3. And x times what is x squared? x. x. And then negative 5x times what would give me negative 5x? 1. 1. So a little positive 1 there. And can 3x plus 1 be factored any further? No. no. So that means we are done, friends. We are done. So, since you guys are being so awesome, writing down your corrections, it's going to be good. Uh, oh, wow. Problem 10. Today's lesson is actually going to make us awesome at problems like 10. Uh, now, one of the ways you could try to do this is you could have thought of this as having an OR in the middle. Did you guys try GCFing this first and then realize that 13 and 16 and th right, there's no common factors, right? So using the other method we previously learned, AC method, you would have had quite the pain. 169 times 16 two, negative 2704. So let's find the factors of that that subtract to be 0. Ugh. Oh, no. So 1 and 2704. Nope. Does 2 go into it? Yeah, 2 goes into it. 352. Uh, does 4 go into it? Yeah. 4 and 676. Does 5 go? 6, 7 goes into, nope. Uh, 8 goes into it. Do, 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 338. Uh, does 9 go in? No. Does 10? No. 11? No. 13 goes into it. Uh, let's see, 2704 by 13. I get 200 no cho. Uh, does 16 go into it? Yes. Yeah, 16 represent 2704 divided by 16. I get 169. Let's see, uh, none of these so far are working. Let's see, 17 wouldn't. 18, 19, 20, 21. I think the, the one that I'm looking for is going to be 52. And anyone know how many 50 times 52 went into it? It turns out it goes in exactly 52 times. Yeah, yeah, and I'm looking for the ones that subtract, because this was a minus sign, subtract to be zero. So then I would split the B term into two like terms, 16R squared. I'd have a 52R and a 52R minus one sesti nueve. Uh, and what would the signs of these 52Rs be? They have to be different because they multiply to be negative. And it doesn't matter which one I make. I'm just going to make the first one negative, the first one, the second one positive, since they have to be different signs. So, so let's see. Now I can do my little uh, factor by grouping trick. So I'm going to yoink, yoink. Between these two, I think I can take out a 4R. And between these two, I think I can take out a... I think I can take out a 13, I think, is the best we can do. So let's see, 4R times what is 16R squared? 4 times what is 16? 4. 4R times what is R squared? R. 4 times what is 52? 
Poker players? 13. 13 cards in a suit, am I right? Uh, and then the R is already present. Let's see, let's factor out the 13 here. Uh, 13 times what is 52? 4. And I need the R hanging out there. Uh, and 13 times what is negative 169? Negative 13. 169 is a perfect square. It's 13 squared. Uh, and let's see. Then I can take this guy and this guy out, right? Because they match, which they had to. And I will have 4R minus 13 outside of a set of parentheses. And what's inside the other set? 4R plus 13. Hey! Hey, those are almost the same. They're almost opposites. What are those? Let's see if I remember. Starts with a C. Conjugates. Conjugates. All right. Sorry. Um, so today we'll actually learn a much better, faster way to do that problem. It is going to be awesome, but it's related to the fact that this was special. Isn't that special? Problem 11. So uh, you can go to the bathroom if you need to. Uh, y squared minus 3y minus 10 uh, is a trinomial. The leading term is 1, meaning I don't have to do AC method. I can just find the factors of C that subtract to B. Am I right? So factors of 10 are 1 and 10, 2 and 5. Which of those subtract to be 3? That's the 2 and the 5. I don't even have to split the B term for this guy. I'm just going to have a Y with a 2 and a Y with a 5. And their signs are going to be, let's see, they multiply to be negative, so they're different. And they add to be negative, so the more influential must have been negative, being the 5. So that's y plus 2 and y minus 5. And we're good. y minus 5 is y plus 2. Is that fine? That is fine because multiplication is commutative, where a times b is equal to b times a. So absolutely fine. No points lost. And equally correct. I don't want to make it seem as though it's like, mm -mm. no, it's, it's awesomely good. It's equally good. Optimally efficient. Uh, so, there we go, internet friends. Hope you had a great time.